Welcome to Finance, Food and Free Time. Today I'm unboxing the Weber Workshops Salt and Pepper Grinder. These came to my attention by a Facebook ad. Normally I don't get sucked in, but this is something that I totally got sucked in on. They're really expensive and they're incredibly over-engineered, but I have been on the hunt for a decent pepper grinder for years. And when this popped up, I just went for it. So Weber Workshops is run by a guy that used to work uh, at Apple in design. They've run this as a Kickstarter campaign and it's had over $350,000 pledged to it. So it's really popular. I think the pepper grinder comes in at about $200 as does the salt. Uh, if you want to go and check out the Kickstarter, I'll leave a link below and you can read more into it. But I'll try and just explain what I know about it, uh, why it might be worth this kind of money to you and just tell you a little bit more about them. I suppose the real question we want to answer is, are these the best salt and pepper grinder in the world? So here's what the manufacturer Weber Workshops have to say about it. The WW Mulan is a precision crafted CNC machine pepper mill that produces a consistent and repeatable grind time after time. Building on our experience designing and producing world-class coffee grinders, the Weber Workshops Mulan is without peer. Unlike other pepper grinders with plastic burrs that wiggle about on a wobbly shaft, the WW Mulan utilizes a custom hard carbon steel burr set mounted to a rigid stainless steel shaft on two precision radial ball bearings, a feature set not found in any other pepper grinder available today. The only difference I can tell between the salt and the pepper grinder is that the salt has ceramic burrs so they don't get destroyed by the salt. The first thing I really like about this is the magnetic lids that just slip off. These are really easy to fill as it's got a really large wide lip and it takes a surprising amount of pepper. It takes a lot of pepper. Compared to my old pepper grinder, uh, which works in a traditional way, you just turn off that. It's always a pain to fill and they tend to go everywhere. Normally I'd roll up a piece of paper and kind of use that as a funnel, but uh, this is what I've been doing recently and it's just annoying. Like, yeah, they don't really think about you when they make these things. So on a traditional grinder, the way you set the grind size is just by screwing that little cap onto it and tightening it or loosening it to get the different grind sizes. Uh, coarse, medium, or fine. So after you undo it to refill it, you'd have to, you'd always lose the grind size. And like, it's not a precision piece of engineering uh, like the Weber one is. So with the Weber Workshops Mulan Pepper Mill, it's set to a coarse grind here. You just lift this ring up and twist it to get different sizes. So it's got 20 ones and they'll always be the same. So if you generally use number eight, eight will always come out the same grind size. So you can really get things correct for your dishes uh, if you care about that sort of thing. So also a lot comes out when you twist it, uh, much more per turn than you would get traditionally. So here it is on a more medium setting. It's a really nice precision tool. I'm expecting to still have this thing in 20 years time, whereas every other grinder I bought is just a grinder. I'm not saying it's definitely worth the money, but it's definitely a nice to have. So this is it twisted to its most coarse setting. So you can see that the burrs are open wide, uh, just like on the traditional one where you undo that and the piece in the center also opens up as much as possible. The Weber one gives you the most control and you can see from coarse to fine there, it's uh, worked really well. I'd recommend this for someone that's in a high-end restaurant or uses pepper a lot, or just really cares about having the best quality tools that are gonna last. I probably won't keep the salt one as I don't use that very much. Uh, these came as a deal, which were both for $400. And that was part of the Kickstarter campaign. I can see on their website now that they're actually $320 each, which is extremely expensive. But if you go and check out their Kickstarter campaign, if you're interested, I'm sure you could still get them at the better price. 
So to answer the question at the start, are these the best salt and pepper grinders in the world? I probably think they are. They're so well made, precision crafted, and I do think they will last forever. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please stick them down below. Thanks very much and catch you for the next one.